After about seven days waiting at uh, to clear St. Helena Island, the water taxi has arrived. from all the other boats in the taxi doing a, a round here beautiful day today seriously full taxi here First jaunt on land. Just you see the ropes. All these moorings here. And some heavy stuff here. Cranes. Hungry pigeons. <laughs> Walk into town. This actually feels weird to be on land. Super weird. We don't know if we'll be able to get to Ascension because we've got to even ask permission, we've got to send an email. So, yeah, we'll have to see what happens. Maybe the last land for two months. There's Jacob's ladder. See if we get to go up there later. The customs offices. What's the side one up there? The side there? What's the side one? I don't know, my bad. Oh, this, is the, this is the main town entrance. It's the bay, we've just finished with all the passport formalities. The moat, this is the old fort. We actually go through the fort gates to get into the main road. There's a swimming pool, a new little swimming pool. Old colonial fort. Uh, just through the gates into the main town. Shops. Very quaint. Here in St. Helena Island, and we are about to attempt Jacob's Ladder. Dirk starting the long, the long road up. Kerry's up ahead already. Heading up to up Jacob's ladder. Absolutely vertical express. Exceptionally, especially that last piece. They're gonna get a taxi back. There are only four in the taxi, so I've opted to stay behind. John and his son starting. Started off with great gusto. And Dirk's doing bloody well. Carry up front. Getting to the steepest parts now. Freaking hell of a climb.
Okay, uh, no, far I've gone. But it's uh, beautiful. St. Helena Bay, James Bay. Yeah, three quarters away. Uh, feeling it a bit. Kerry is still holding on. There's a taxi driver. <laughs> We're coming. <laughs> oh, we made it to the top. Kerry is here. Take him better. Done. Hey, kijk okay, op. It's the sun and John at the top. Well done! Well done. Woo! Woo! Uh, well done, Berkey. It says the inclined plane constructed for the St. Helena Railway Company in 1829 under the supervision of Lieutenant G.W. Melissus St. Helena Artillery Regiment rebuilt by the Royal Engineers in 1871. This is the view. The steps going down. And the view of the bay. And St. Helena Town. Yeah, the crew enjoyed a breathtaking ride down the mountainside and joined me back in, in town. But one of the lasting uh, memories of St. Helena was being able to uh, walk around without a mask on. St. Helena has been COVID free for over a year now. And uh, yeah, it's so sad to, to realize that uh, what we all took for granted a year ago um, is almost a novel thing now. And, Whereas before walking around without a mask or wearing a mask felt uh, abnormal. Now walking around without a mask uh, feels abnormal. Yeah, the world's a different place and uh, yeah, we're really lucky to be out here and just enjoying the, the beauty and the surrounds. St. Helena disappearing in the distance. Enjoy your walk this morning, babe. Yeah, we had a lovely walk. Beautiful. Love to St. Helena. This is a view out of the kitchen as the island disappears. Sorry, the galley. The galley. <laughs> bye bye, St. Helena. A couple of hours out of St. Helena. Sun setting. You can see the island still just in the distance, just like it out. Beautiful colored clouds. A bit of thumping going on here, starting to make water. We just started the jenny. 
sun just disappearing behind the clouds. Applying the code zero. And the sun just peeping out the bottom of the clouds, just about to go down. Uh, knocking noises coming from inside here. Yeah. Making uh, water with a, with a Schenker 100, which is this one. She's thumping away merrily. Switch the little one on. Yeah, there we go. She's flushing at first. See the pressure coming up, starting to knock. Piston starting to work. Just giving it, giving it about a minute flush. There you can hear the fresh water pump running, starting to flush the system. We do a minute flush before we run it. The, uh, the big one is fully automated. It's busy thumping away. The little one, the little 30, you've got to manually start. You can hear it pumping the fresh water. With all your discharge valves, yeah. So it's just that extra piece of pipe we've got here. Now I'm going to turn the discharge off and the pressure should start coming up. It takes a little while. Back out for the sunset. And got thumping in unison. It's pretty loud in your bunks. Yeah, in the back berth. Yeah, it's, it's a necessary evil. You can see the pressure gauge starting to rise on the little one there now. Go up to 8 bar and then start making order. Now we're heading for. Uh, oh, look at that. Now we're heading for. Uh, uh, Bonaparte Seamount, uh, we didn't go there last time, it's, it's just going to take control over the top and a look and then from there to Grattan Bank and then to uh, Ascension so we are on the move again there she goes subscribe and join us next time as we explore Grattan Bank on the way to Ascension and see what we get up to at Ascension be sure to join us, thanks for watching Catch you next time.